Hi, my name is Michelle and you're watching Michelle's Life and today I wanted to do a tag video. I was tagged by Felicia over at Little Prairie Library. Um, the tag is the How I Read tag. The original video I couldn't find, I think it was taken off. I think the tag is about two years old. I saw some other of the bigger booktubers post the video. It was about two years ago, so I thought I would do it. It sounded fun and easy and I needed a video for this week, so let's do this one. I will post all the questions down below and if you want to do this tag as well or if you have done it already, I would love for you to post your video link down below and I will go check it out. Number one is how do you find new books to read? With this, before booktube, I would just peruse the shelves of the library and pick based on a pretty cover. But since joining booktube, I mostly pick up books that I hear recommended that sound interesting to me. Um, when I first started, I picked up a lot of books that I wasn't actually all that interested in, but I've narrowed down what actually interests me in a book, so I'm a better judge now at what I think I will actually like and what I will wind up giving five stars compared to the two and three stars that I was giving to all the other books that I was reading. Uh, number two is how did you get into reading? And with this I find it kind of hard because I mean that's like how did you get into eating or walking or you know well one you're taught it in school and then I took an interest in it because I was like this is kind of cool. Even though I actually had a really hard time with reading to begin with and my mom bought me hooked on phonics to help me read and everything but um, my mom was an avid reader, she would read two to three books a week and I just saw that she loved reading and also also I had to take public transportation for my whole high school career. Um, I rode the school bus to and from school every day and then after school I would take the public bus to and from work so that was probably a good like three to four hours on buses so I would read a lot during that time so I feel like that definitely made me more of a reader and then also I've mentioned a couple times um, that when my, my daughter was first born I read a lot on my Kindle and that definitely made me get into reading more as well. Number three, how has your taste in books changed as you've gotten older? And I remember in middle school I had a really hard time finding books that I actually enjoyed and so someone recommended V.C. Andrews' Flowers in the Attic series, I think that's what the series is called, or that's just the name of the first book. And I really loved it. So I read a lot of thriller, mystery type books. I'm not interested in those anymore, but I did read a lot in middle school. And then in high school, I was very into like druggy stories. So I loved A Million Little Pieces, even though there's a lot of controversy behind it. And I loved Go Ask Alice and Running With Scissors and just books like that. Then in college, I mostly read for my classes, so I read a lot of uh, American literature. I definitely loved 20th century American literature more than anything else I studied. So um, some of those books include They Still Shoot Horses, Don't They? And um, Revolutionary Road, and oh, uh, Carmen McCarthy's uh, No Country for Old Men. Uh, I can't think of any other 20th century American literature novels right off the top of my head right now, but. Anyway, that was my favorite during college. And then lately I've been into more YA and I feel like that's because I didn't actually read YA when it was more age appropriate for me. And now I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to dense reading materials. So YA is really easy to pick up and put down. And so that's recently what I've been into. I have been trying to get back into 20th or 21st century American literature again. Um, Number four is how often do you buy books? Far too often. <laughs> Before my daughter was born I was primarily a library user. I didn't really buy too many books unless like it was an author that I knew I loved or maybe I would get a book or two for my birthday. But then after my daughter was born and I became a stay-at-home mom I kind of bought books whenever I was feeling down or I was having a bad day. And then I joined booktube and started watching other booktubers and got mass amounts of recommendations that sounded amazing. I found out about Book Outlet and I got my Kindle and Kindle Daily Deals and it's been a spiral effect. Uh, yeah, so a lot. I buy books too often. Number five is how did you get into booktubing or making booktube videos? And I started watching YouTube through my PlayStation, streaming onto my TV when I was pregnant because I was interested in pregnancy vlogs and 
and I just wanted to know that I wasn't alone and that these things were completely normal. So I watched a lot of those and just daily vloggers and stuff like that. And then I watched some makeup channels and then I was reading a book, I, don't, I think it might have been Cinder or something, I don't remember. And I looked up a book review because I was like, well, I'm on YouTube, let's do something. And then I found Katie Tastic and it all started from there. And then I just, you know, kept finding more and more and more and now I think I'm subscribed to like 150. So, yeah. And then in October I decided to join because my friend Jody and I, who I've mentioned a lot, um, we talk almost every day about books and I was like, this is really cool and I'm really enjoying this but it'd be so cool to talk to even more people. So I decided to create a channel. It seemed like it wasn't too difficult. I used this really simple camera that I got from my mother-in-law and started talking to my camera pretending it was Jody. And then here I am. Number six is how do you react if you don't like the ending of a book? And normally I close it, I kind of put my fist down on it, and then I usually rant to my husband or I text Jody and tell her to never read this book. Number seven is how often do you take a sneak peek into the back of the book to see if it has a happy ending? I have never done this. I've never heard of anybody doing this. The only thing that I can kind of relate to this question is, is that sometimes when I'm reading a book and my husband can tell that I'm really into it, he'll read the last chapter randomly and then he's like, haha, I know how it ended. I'm like, haha, don't tell me. <laughs> so, and he's never spoiled it. He's really good about <laughs> doing that. He just teases. He doesn't actually ruin it. But I've never read the back of a book before, but finishing it. And then number eight is who are you going to tag to do this video? I tag Karen over at Simple Cup of Tea because I just love seeing her face in my news in my subscription feed and I would love to see her do this video. Um, I recently subscribed to Becky Ford so if you watch this video Becky I would love to see you do this video as well. And the last person I tag is Books and Me um, and her name is Alex so Alex if you see this I would love to see your video as well. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am a little curious, so if you would leave your comments down below, I would love to know how you found my channel. Did you find it through Twitter or the Raven Cycle Read Along or recently when I did those collaborations with the other booktubers? I don't know, I'm just kind of interested. So let me know down below and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hi, welcome back, my name is Michelle. This is just a quick video. I just wanted to tell you that I will be taking part in the TBR Takedown hosted by Shannon over at Leaning